Hi everybody, today I'm going to be reviewing another mesh corset. This is the MCC6 Sports Mesh Waspy by Mystic City Corsets. So here's the front, the side, the back, and the other side. For the length and fit of this corset, the center front here is nine inches. At the princess seam here, it's six and a half inches. Three and a half are from the waist up and three are from the waist down. And I measured the waistline as being the bottom of the waist tape. At the side seam here, it's a little bit longer at seven inches. And in the center back, it is nine inches once again. Now for the circumferential measurements, um, when I measured this corset, it was different from what was stated on the website. Today I'm wearing the size 24, so it's 24 inches laced closed. And when I measured it at, at the waistline, uh, both right out of the box and also um, after I've worn it a few times, uh, it did not stretch in the waistline. It measured true at exactly 24 inches. However, at the top edge here, it measured 29 inches, so it has a five inch rib spring. And in the bottom here at the hips, it measured 31 inches, so it has a nine inch hip spring. Um, but this corset seemed to be consistently one inch smaller, uh, both at the top and the bottom. Now there was some speculation whether this was uh, possibly due to manufacturing error. However, uh, normally when there are little errors in the rib and hip springs of a corset, you normally see little other aberrations, uh, possible um, asymmetries in the corset or the waistline might not measure perfectly true and in this situation it was impeccably constructed. It was exactly 14 and a half inches uh, on one side to the other side at the top edge here and it was exactly 15 and a half inches uh, left side and right side in the bottom and the waistline measured exactly 12 inches on each side. So I don't think it was due to a manufacturing error. Another thing that I thought of was uh, the fact that this is a mesh and uh, many any other types of uh, fishnet style netting is known to expand over time. So I was wondering if possibly the factory had cut this to be less curvaceous, um, expecting it to expand at the top and bottom over time. Now this is a, a good quality sports mesh as I'm going to show you close up in another minute or so. Uh, it's not exactly like the fishnet style netting that has more give to it. So it's not going to expand and stretch the same way. And unfortunately, this is not unique to my situation. I spoke with two other people who also owned the MCC6, uh, the mesh and the non-mesh version, and they also reported that uh, the rib and hip springs in their courses were one to two inches smaller than what was stated on the website. So I just wanted to make sure you are aware of that in case you are a particularly curvy person and you are looking for something very curvy. But I just wanted to ensure that you keep this in mind and uh, take the numbers on the website with a grain of salt. But apart from the measurements being different from what was stated on the website. Um, the silhouette is pleasant and comfortable. It is relatively conical through the ribs here and gently rounded over the hip. Um, so that's all I'm going to say for the length and the fit of this. So let's go to the tabletop portion of this review and I can show you the other details of this corset close up. All right, so here is the MCC6 Sports Mesh Cincher Laid Flat. And for the materials, um, the mesh is obviously a single layer as mesh corsets tend to be. And if I can show a close up of the sports mesh here, you can see the difference between this and a uh, hexagonal fishnet style netting, the, the difference between them. See, this one is a little bit thicker and uh, there's there's more connections between the holes. The holes are a little bit smaller and they are more resistant. So this is kind of like a sports jersey or if you uh, if you remember having to wear those vests in gym class in elementary school, <laughs> it's very reminiscent of that. Um, I also see this mesh used in uh, sports mesh shoes so that they allow your feet to breathe a little bit. So it's, it's more that style as opposed to the fishnet. And because it's designed for sportswear, it's designed to be used hard. And so it's a little bit more resilient to tears or warping and, and things of that nature. And the center front panel, as well as the center back panel here, as well as all the boning channels, are a double layer of black cotton twill. And you can see that they have sandwiched those uh, boning channels uh, so that the boning channels are straddling the seams. And so that reinforces the seam and it also allows a place for the, the bones to slide in there. This is what the Mystic City label looks like. 
and here is the size in inches and in centimeters. There's no label that shows the country of manufacture nor the cleaning instructions. Turning this corset on its side, it has a six panel pattern, uh, so 12 panels total. Panels one and six here are the black cotton twill, those are the solid cotton, and then panels two, three, four, and five are made with the mesh here. So between panels two and three, you see most of the um, swell of the hip here. And as I mentioned re before regarding the construction, the mesh panels were assembled together in a single layer, and the bony channels were laid down, and they are straddling the seams between the mesh. So this reinforces the um, assembly of the, the mesh pieces and two channels were sewn side by side so that you can have double boning on the seams here. The solid cotton panels are two layers so that they can sandwich the busk and the bones uh, in between those layers. And turning to the inside, you can see that very plainly there is a waist tape in here, and it's actually printed with Mystic City corsets in there, so that's pretty cute. Um, so that's visible on the inside. On the outside, it's just plain black, so you're not going to get anything distracting underneath the black mesh there. But it's three quarters of an inch wide, made from grosgrain ribbon, uh, extending from the center front here all the way to the center back. And it is an interior uh, waist tape, so it's not shown on the outside, it's only on the inside, but sandwiched uh, down, it's stitched down in between the bony channels, so that helps reinforce it as well. And the binding used in this corset is actually not a matching black cotton twill. It is a synthetic knit that is slightly stretchy and slightly spongy. So this was an interesting choice. I wonder uh, why they made that choice but it's machine stitched on outside and in the inside. On the outside, you can see there is a little top stitch and on the inside, there's a little top stitch as well. So it was probably done in one pass and there are tiny garter tabs in this corset, um, four of them, two on each side. The modesty panel on the back is just under five inches in width, so this will cover a lacing gap of about four or four and a half inches, just so like the, the binding here will be underneath the, the two ends of the corset. Um, and it is uh, finished in black cotton. It is stiffened with bones. There are three vertical bones and two horizontal bones, and of course suspended on the laces. Additionally, there is a modesty placket in the front here. It is uh, just under half an inch wide, also finished in black cotton twill and extending out from underneath the knob side of the busk. The busk in this corset is eight inches long and it's a standard flexible busk, so half an inch on each side. It is actually uh, fusion coated in black, so it's all black hardware in this corset, which is pretty cool. And uh, it has four loops and pins equidistantly spaced, and it is actually fairly rigid. But I have noticed that a lot of coated busks, um, whether black or different colors that you can get from uh, like on Etsy, for instance, uh, they do tend to be a little bit more rigid because of that coating. It, uh, it takes away some of the flexibility there. And not including the modesty panel, there are a total of 26 bones in this corset. It's double boned on the seams with quarter inch wide spirals, so two, four, six, eight, ten. These are the flexible spiral steel bone. And there is a bone adjacent to the busk here. This is a half inch wide flat steel bone, very rigid, as well as there are two flat steel bones sandwiching the grommets on each side. These are also half an inch wide. These are a little bit more flexible. There are a total of 16 grommets in the back of this corset, eight on each side. You can see that they are uh, closer together. They're about half the distance at the waistline uh, compared to above and below the waistline, which is uh, fairly typical of Mystic City corsets. They are finished in black. As I said, this corset has all black hardware, and this is size zero with a large flange. And I remember using these grommets when I first started in corsetry, and these are uh, very hard wearing um, grommets. They're almost impossible to pull out with wear and tear of the corset. So even though they may look a little bit inelegant or you know not very dainty, um, they are good quality if you're going to be waist straining on a daily basis. And moving the modesty panel aside so that you can see the underside, nice big washers present. All of them have rolled nicely. They don't catch on the laces. I don't see any damage of the fabric around the grommets. They're holding in very well. And your laces are your typical workhorse, uh, black flat shoelace style lacing, um, a little bit under a quarter inch in width. 
uh, a little bit sprungy, but very difficult to break. They are abrasion resistant and they glide well through the grommets. If I um, open up the back of this corset as far as it'll go, it is about 12 inches in the back here. So even though theoretically, um, if you were achieving nine or 10 inch reductions in this, you would be able to wrap it around yourself. Do keep in mind that the modesty panel is only uh, a little bit under five inches wide. So that is the widest lacing gap you can have in the back of this corset and to have the modesty panel still extend across the entire thing. The MCC6 Waspy comes and goes out of stock in different colorways throughout the years. So it was originally released in plain black cotton and then the sports mesh as you see here. And it was also released in a peacock blue brocade, purple vinyl and a black vinyl with studs. It's normally $90 US and they do ship worldwide. And I would recommend checking both their Etsy shop and their regular website because they seem to carry different colorways on the two different platforms. So if you are looking for something specific, uh, whether a specific uh, MCC style number or uh, a, a different colorway, I would recommend checking both platforms. And the price seems to be the same on both websites. And this concludes my review of the MCC6 Sports Mesh Waspy. I hope you enjoyed this and you learned something new. If you did, please remember to click that like button down there as it helps support this channel and helps the algorithm do its magic. If you have any comments or questions about this corset, feel free to leave your questions down below and be happy to get back to you. And if you own this corset, uh, please let me know what you think of it and whether your corset happened to measure true in yours. Uh, feel free to leave a comment down below and let us know your thoughts. Thanks again for watching and I will see you all next week for another video.